Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Coming up in the day's show, we explore the different ways our community commemorates the tragic event that took place 15 years ago. Also, we will remember those who have died from reckless driving. I'm Sean Hoffman. And I'm Calvin Orlanis. Today is Monday, September 12th, and you're watching West Orange TV. Welcome back. Any athletes looking for a scholarship may want to investigate Wendy's High School Heisman Scholarship. This scholarship is eligible for any athlete displaying excellence in the classroom, on the playing field, and in their communities. For the Lady Cats of West Ranch, the PEO Star Scholarship is for a star female that has demonstrated excellence in both academics and volunteer work. See Naviance or Mrs. Woolridge for application details. College representatives from the University of New Mexico, Colorado, and Colorado Mesa will be at West Ranch tomorrow during tutorial. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. Many of us commemorated 9-11 yesterday. There is also an event held at the mall that paid tribute to those who have passed and who are affected by this tragedy. Savannah has more. This past Sunday marked the 15th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Locals and authorities gathered at the Westfield Mall in Santa Clarita to commemorate the first responders and those who were lost. Today we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of 9-11. Um, of course it was a tragic day in the United States. We lost over 3,000 souls that day and many first responders and what Hands On Santa Clarita Valley does in conjunction with 9-11 is we take all of our labor, all of our volunteers and we put them to work at other nonprofits and we complete huge projects in a very little time. We also spoke with Wanda about her personal experience on the morning of September 11th. I was woken up by the phone call. Um, I was told to turn on the TV immediately because we were on the West Coast. So it was happening very early in the morning and I was glued and in shock and awe. And um, once everything kind of hit, I remember one of the, the biggest memories I have is that the skies were very, very quiet and there was no airplanes at all in the sky. And because of that, it was very eerie and it was frightening, it was very frightening. From West Ranch TV, this has been Savannah Burroughs reporting. Thank you, Savannah. The event was a great commemoration of what occurred 15 years ago on September 11th. Now, let's take it out to Riley with all your sports news. Thanks, Sean. Today, JV Girls Golf will play at Chica today at 2.30. Good job freshman football for tying Antelope Valley on Friday. It was a great game with the help of Zach Van Binnigam, Bryce Buchanan, Ian Wright, Brandon Wire, and Matt Striplin for making game-changing plays. That's all for me, now let's take it back to Sean. Thanks, Riley, and good job freshman football. At lunch today, Defy will meet in room 534, Astronomy Club will meet in room 205, and Speech and Bay in room 212. Lastly today, Model United Nation will be meeting in room 504 during lunch. Last Wednesday, there was a walk of remembrance held for those who have tragically died in car accidents. Nick and Christian got the chance to explore this event located in Central Park. The city of Santa Clarita invites local residents to attend the walk of remembrance to promote safe driving and show support for families who have lost loved ones in traffic-related incidents. Each year, the city of Santa Clarita and the Blue Ribbon Task Force host the evening of remembrance to help local families on their youth ages 24 and younger who have lost their lives in traffic related incidents. You know what the goal is every time we come here is to uh, hopefully come here and not have to add another name to that any one of those stumps that are there. Uh, it's an opportunity for the community to come together uh, to remember those who young lives who have been lost um, unfortunately too, far too soon and it's an opportunity for us to reflect on that and also reflect on some of the behavior that's going on that's contributing to those deaths and talk about it and spread the word throughout this community so that we can prevent the loss of lives. 
Citizens from all across the valley who have been affected by these tragic accidents came out to show support for one another and to raise awareness so no one else has to experience the tragedies that they've went through. You know, I, I was a team back then and it's tough to, to convey the message that you're not invincible. And, and every time you get behind that wheel, anything can happen. And uh, it's, it's tough to get that message across, you know, whether it's driving too fast or distracted on the phone or, you know, drugs, alcohol or whatever, you know, it just takes a split second decision to change a life forever. The Youth Grove at Central Park is now home to 102 individual pillars, each bearing a plaque with the name of a young life that has been lost to a traffic-related incident. The pillars mimic cut tree stumps to symbolize young lives cut short by the road incidents, and they surround a central monument urging the community to know more. From West Ranch TV, this has been Christian Jackson reporting. Thank you guys for reminding us about the lives that have been lost. Watch tomorrow's show for a look at the new iPhone 7, as well as Murphy talking about tacos. Please don't leave me. Well, this is goodbye. Please don't leave me.